Well, welcome back to the shit show. Here we are for the rebuild. Uh, as you can see here, we've got a lot of stuff completed, which is good news. Uh, we've got our forks reassembled, front ends all good. We've got the uh, the stock mount for the fairing just to get the IMU on there so we can uh, kind of start this thing and make sure it's all good to go. All put back together. We got a new exhaust on here, right? You'll see that the rain tires are mounted just to roll around the shop and we got ourselves uh, a used tank. So uh, big thanks to uh, racer Kyle Wyman for being able to help me out here with some parts. Was able to take off of him at a homie hookup price. Uh, mainly for the forks and a bunch of other components, man. So big ups to him. Really appreciate it. Uh, we've got some other stuff going on, sadly. As you see, she's uh, not all the way together and there is no fairings. There's no fairings because USPS has lost them. Uh, this was back in December. It's now March. I've already missed one round of racing and a second one is going to be missed as well because USPS has lost those fairings and post italy uh is not doing so good to help us out with this stuff so unfortunately we're still kind of fighting an uphill battle in other news uh it runs which is awesome uh fan cycles as it gets hot that kind of good stuff we had some other delays as our switch manufacturer ended up shipping some of this stuff to a different state so that took a while to get back as well and that just seems par for the course for this rebuild um, as you guys know, if you've been watching these, this bike was torn in half uh, last season at ECR, and uh, we're now trying to piece it all back together so we can get up and riding. Man, that's been like nine months ago, so it has been a long journey for sure. Now, where we're at, well, we've got some good news and some bad news. We had some issue with the, uh, the dash itself. The dash had some issues. It is not plug and play. What I'll say is if you have anything come up where you need to replace the dash itself, talk to your dealer, man. They're gonna walk you through some stuff uh, and, and educate you on what you need to do to get that squared away. I had to do that as well. Um, there's some other components that need to work together and talk together. So again, talk to your dealer. V1 has been amazing to get me set up and squared away with that stuff. So big ups to those guys and Carlos over there. So thanks for getting me squared away. We are facing a bit of a new issue right now. The bike is good to go, turns on. Um, you'll notice over here on the side, you've got all of your riding modes. So once we go into some of these riding modes, we can go in and it populates at Sport Evo. So that's the default. If we go to Race Evo, we can go in, right? And we can change everything that you need. Traction control, wheelie control, slide control, all the goodies on this bike that makes it so amazing. However, when you go into the custom settings, or at least right now, and we select what we want as far as all of our rider aids. However, it doesn't apply. So if I go back and we check our settings here, none of these allow you to change. So traction control, as you see, was down to two, but now it's up to five. Wheelie control, which was also down to two, is now at four. So for whatever reason, with this latest software update uh, or flash, we're just not getting what we need. So we'll have to take a look at that. I don't know if that's a software issue or if we've got something else, like maybe the BBS was hurt during the crash. Who knows? So we'll have to run it back to the guys at V1 to get me squared away and see what's up. So sadly, uh, here we sit with the saga continues, <laughs> trying to get this thing rebuilt uh, and then try to get some fairings for it. Um, front stay. Everything else is pretty well good to go, man. She's got fresh oil in it, no leaks. Uh, water pump was replaced as you guys have been following along, right? The rear hub has been serviced. So everything's looking good, man. K-Tech shocks is good to go there. We'll look at getting some internals for the front forks uh, from P1 Racing and John. So we'll see what we got going on. But as of right now, here she sits in the garage and uh stay tuned because we go over why this switch was giving us problems starting and why this throttle assembly was giving us issues changing settings on the dash we'll see what we get here in a couple of weeks so that's why the long layoff if you guys have any questions or any thoughts as to maybe why that dash and that software are having issues man hit me up in the comments let me know and we'll see about moving forward from there you guys take it easy